Welcome, Cameron. I'm sure glad you could be with us. Thank you so much for having me. You spoke to our Senior Action Network group, and it was a great presentation and really important information that you gave us, so I'm really glad you could come on our show and talk to the greater community so that everybody can find out about your great company. Sure. So LifeNet Health, that's your company. Can you tell me a little bit about that? That is, yeah. LifeNet Health, uh, we are the only full-service nonprofit tissue bank here in the Northwest. And so what that means is we're responsible for recovering, mm -hmm. uh, processing, packaging, running all of our uh, own serological testing, and then redistributing these, these tissue grafts uh, back into the Northwest hospitals. So uh, we have our, our local office here in Renton. We also have offices in Spokane, and then also Billings, Montana, to cover the entire Northwest region here. Okay. And then as we also have offices uh, in Virginia and Florida, so we can, can cover the local community, but we can also cover the, uh, the rest of the states as well. Okay. So um, let's just be clear for tissue. Okay. You mean if somebody passes away, then it's right, something they right. can donate, so like an organ donation? Yeah, yeah. so ev everybody's familiar with um, but basically organ and eye donation. Mm -hmm. And so you know that, that little heart that's on your license there that says donor, that means that you're a registered donor for organ, tissue, and eye. So okay. like I said, people are familiar with the other two, not so familiar with tissue, but they're actually pretty common grafts. Um, you know, we do, we do uh, skin grafts, bone grafts, uh, tendons, uh, heart valves, veins, oh, wow. just about everything that is not uh, organs or eyes. Okay, so, and yeah. what do you do for LifeNet So Health? For, for LifeNet, I'm the uh, Community and Partner Accounts Manager, which is, uh, I guess, a fancy way of saying that I, I'm responsible for building and uh, maintaining relationships with all of, basically, our non-hospital partners. So I work in conjunction with uh, com uh, medical examiners, coroners, funeral homes, 911 or EMS programs, hospice, uh, just to build those relationships and uh, make sure that donation is an option for uh, families here in the Northwest. Wow, okay. Well, what does LifeNet Health do for the local Northwest community? So like I said, LifeNet, uh, what's really special about them is we, we make a focus on keeping our grafts here in the Northwest. So if somebody is a donor, uh, here in one of our local hospitals. Mm -hmm. We make every effort to keep that graft within this community. So uh, last year, actually, we were able to put over 40,000 grafts back here into the Northwest community. Wow. So 40,000 people benefited from donation from local donors here. That's really um, amazing. Yeah, we also yeah. offer a lot of education similar to what I was doing this morning. Mm -hmm. um, I believe last year through all of our development team, we, we gave uh, over 3,000 hours or credit hours to, to nurses, to EMS and coroner mm -hmm. programs that, uh, that we offer. To wow. Them. Yep. And I know from your talk this morning that you didn't start out doing outreach and working with um, clients and that kind of thing. Right, right. So I, uh, I actually grew up in the funeral business, which was kind of my my end to working for for LifeNet Health. Um, I, I worked in the t I was the tissue recovery lead, uh, mm -hmm. which was uh, responsible for the the team of people that would actually go in and work within these hospital or medical examiner's offices. We would do the wow. the actual the surgical recovery of these tissue grafts, and then we would uh, bring them back to the Renton facility. And I actually had a little bit of experience with processing those grafts as well. Wow, interesting yeah. that that is really another whole science It, it was, itself. it yeah. was, yeah. And I, I, like I said, I did that for about uh, seven or eight years and then transitioned over into community development after that, so, yeah. yep. Wow. Well, I think, like you said, people know about organ transplant, maybe even Absolutely. eye. But, so what are some of the things that you would be able to recover from a donor that could help somebody that's still living. Right, right. So I, I think that uh, while people might not be familiar with tissue donation, I think a lot of people are very familiar with the, the grafts that are actually um, used in, in everyday surgery. So if mm -hmm. you've known anybody that's had uh, had to have a, a burn graft or something like that, mm -hmm. um, if, you've, if you've known people that have had to have an ACL redone, or if they've had to have uh, a spinal fusion or something like that, uh -huh. those are some of the, the many, I mean, the, the catalog that like Net Health has is we have several thousand types of grafts in there, but those uh -huh. are some are some of our most Major. common ones. Uh -huh. um, the one that uh, that I'm really 
uh, proud of and the one that we focus on a lot are our heart valves. And so these are actually life-saving grafts. So these wow. are, are grafts that when somebody needs a heart valve, especially something like a pediatric heart valve, mm -hmm. um, we're actually able to um, you know, replace that heart valve and, and save those, those people's lives. So, wow. yeah. I was also touched by your presentation of how you help the donor's family know who and how it helps right, somebody. Right, yeah, and that, that's one of our programs that we're very, very proud of is um, our, our donor family aftercare. So when, when somebody is a tissue donor, we actually will take care of the, the family of, the, of that person. Um, we have mm -hmm. a, a comprehensive do uh, program that we follow them, you know, anywhere from two years to five years after their, their wow. loved one has passed away. And this, this involves, um, you know, keeping up with them through correspondence through the mail. Um, we, we invite them to events that we have throughout the year where we, we bring uh, people who have received tissue grafts and, and donor families together. Mm -hmm. um, and then we, we also, every, every one of our grafts that we have, we're able to put a, a little thanks to you letter in Aww. there. So when the person has surgery, uh, they can fill this card out and that card is actually going to go back to the donor family thanking them for their loved one's oh. gift. Oh. So when you're, when you're talking about the average tissue donor, they're able to help around 150 people just through one donation. Wow. So that family's gonna be able to see, you know, oh. up to 150 kind of a different, yeah, different people just thanking them and, mm -hmm. you know, just making them feel that their loved one's, uh, fi I guess, final act of generosity was yeah. a really big deal, so, yeah. 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 Wow, that's really neat. Well, it's really interesting. I never really thought of um, a, a health agency like this being right. a nonprofit. Right. Um, so, are there also for-profit organizations out um, there? Th there definitely are. The, you know, there's a lot of for-profit tissue processors. Uh -huh. There are for-profit uh, heart valve processors and stuff like that. Uh -huh. um, we're, we we pride ourselves on being a nonprofit, and yeah. we we like to invest as much as we can back into our, you know, our donor family aftercare mm -hmm. program. We invest back into uh, research and development for, for different grafts and things like that as mm -hmm. well, so. Oh, interesting. Well, is there anything else you'd like to share before you well, have to head back to Renton? Right, uh, you know, I would just, I would like to say that uh, the state of Washington has an 85% donor registry rate, and so that's actually one of the highest in the country, which mm -hmm. is fantastic. So to anybody who is a registered donor, thank you. Um, for anybody who would like to be a registered donor, make sure next time you go in and get your driver's license renewed, check that box for donor. And if you would like to go on to, uh, I believe it's donatelife.net, you can log on and become a registered donor there as well. Um, and my, my only other thought would be make sure to share your decision with your loved ones so that they know what your final wishes are. And they're comfortable with yep, it. And they're, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Great. All right. Okay. Well, thank you, Cameron. Absolutely. And I didn't say your last name yet, so it's Axelson. Cameron Axelson. Thank yes. you, Cameron. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You bet. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the show tonight. Again, thanks to TCTV. Remember, there is so much going on. February 25th, the Pi Fest. March 12th, get your tickets for the Big Shoe Entertainment Explosions Big Show. Come down to the dances, take a trip. Did you know that in February there's a day, February 11th, which is Make a Friend Day? Well, the senior centers in our community are a great place to make a friend if you're in the need for that. We would love to have you. There's lots of friends standing by for you. So come on down and try it out. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again soon.